Hey friends, I'm Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you the books that I plan to read this month. So if you're new here, I'm not really the biggest fan of TBRs, but if there's a readathon that's happening or I just have a bunch of books that I'm really excited for, then I will make them. Usually there's like a 40, 60 chance that I will actually read the books on the TBR. The stack that I have here, I'm really in the mood for now. So it's going to be in my best interest to like really focus on reading them while I'm in the mood for them before my mood changes. But Sophie from All Things Equilateral and The Bookish Cat are hosting Chick Litathon. It has been one of my favorite readathons that happened here on BookTube. I I was a little nervous that we weren't going to get around this year but then they posted their announcement videos and I got super excited and I am just going to make an event of it all month. I am literally determined every day to consume something that puts me in the mood of like chiclet vibes whether it's books, podcasts, movies, like whatever. Really excited. Let's get into the actual books that I plan to read. So the first two are two that I ordered from Amazon literally like a week ago and I'm still waiting for them to come whenever that is going to be and it's books one and two in the rooftop top crew series by Piper Rain. So book one is My Besties X and then book two is A Royal Mistake. And on Goodreads there's like six titles total. So I know that this is an author duo that pushes books out pretty fast. So it looks like they've already have titles in place and they're already writing the entire series. But the first two books are the only ones that were available on paperback. I do have their Blue Collar Brothers series on my shelf and I read book one and I really enjoyed it. So they're just an author duo that I really want to support by actually purchasing their physical copies of their books. Cannot wait for these two to get here. I hope I love them and I definitely plan to read those this month. Then I have a NetGalley title and that is Crushing It by Lorelai Parker. I believe this comes out in June. It might be July. I'll make sure that I put it on the screen when it comes out. This follows a female gamer and it sounds like she has a really good idea for a game but she suffers from like not being the best at public speaking. So she goes to this local bar that like on Thursday nights or something they host this event where you can get in front of the crowd and read some of your cringy journal entries from when you were a kid. So she does and it's all about her crush on this guy named Tristan and unbeknownst to her Tristan is in the audience. He literally gets called up after her. So this is kind of their romance but then she's also feeling this guy named Alfie who works at the bar. So it's like she's having to use her gamer knowledge to like figure out both of their motivations and hopefully pick the right guy. And of course I have to have a series that I'm already in the middle of. So up next with the Heartbreaker Bay series is Hot Winter Nights by Joel Chavez. This is a series that I've been making my way through and I'm loving it. Now I will say I started the audiobook for this one a couple of days ago and the narrator changed. The narrator for the previous books has been Karen White and she did a fantastic job. She was hilarious. Like these books themselves are hilarious but she just captured Jill Chalvis's wit and humor amazingly and I don't know if I'm really feeling that with this narrator so I'm going to press on. I just hope that she doesn't ruin the reading experience for me. Really looking forward to like seeing where the series goes. After this one I think I only have two left and then I will be caught up with this series. And next I have Mermaid Inn by Jenny Holiday. This will be my first Jenny Holiday romance and it follows Eve and Sawyer and it sounds like Eve goes home and she's inherited her aunt's bed and breakfast. And that is a storyline that I will never get tired of. Usually in that storyline, like the heroine has to go home. She's inherited something that she's not really wanting to have to deal with. And her idea is just like, I'm gonna go home, do what I gotta do and then get back to my normal life. But it sounds like Eve gets back and she wasn't expecting Sawyer to be around still, but he is. He's like the chief of police or something like that. So I know my friend Lisa from Remarkably Lisa loves this author so I cannot wait to read her for myself. I did download the audiobook for this one. I heard the audio narration is fantastic so I cannot wait to get into it. Another one that I feel like I've put off entirely too long is A Prince on Paper by Alyssa Cole which is the last book in her Reluctant Royal series. I'm really sad that this series is coming to an end but I know she's already working on an entirely new series and I cannot wait for that. And she has a thriller coming out this fall like Alyssa Cole is a queen who cannot be put into a box. I really don't know much about this one. I just know a lot of readers have said like it kind of gives you Prince Harry vibes. We love Prince Harry. The heroine in this one I think we met her maybe in book one. I'm not for sure. I'm trying to go into it not knowing that much about this book but I remember when I watched a TED talk about how romance novels are feminist. The person that did the TED talk which I will leave that linked down below she mentioned an evil Lee 
romance and she mentioned this book and I have finally hauled both of the books that she talked about in that video. I love Alyssa Cole like she can do no wrong so I know I'm gonna love it. And then I plan on reading The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. Now this one I have been seeing tons and tons of mixed reviews on. Their previous novel Twice in a Blue Moon in the romance community as well people were not really feeling it and I have that one on my shelf still have yet to pick it up but this one I've just really been wanting to read regardless of what the reviews are like I really feel like I need to read it for myself and kind of see what my own personal thoughts are. It follows two people that are like the assistants to this big famous home renovation couple. I love that. <laughs> this couple like they secretly can't stand each other and they just put this book out and it's all about like being you know this really powerful couple. Assistants have to tag along with them while they're on this book tour to make sure that like they don't kill each other basically. And this is their romance. So yeah I'm feeling like I really need to read this one and formulate my own opinion. I really don't know what people's issues are with it. Like some of what I've been hearing is that they're not really focusing on the romance so I'm wondering if they're kind of blurring that line between romance and women's fiction as well and I know that for me personally there are some authors that I feel like do it really good and then there's some authors that just completely miss the mark. I'm still really willing to give them a try so we will see. If you've read this one and you have an opinion on it definitely let me know down in the comments below which side of the fence you're kind of on and we'll let you guys know what my thoughts are on it once I get it finished. Next I have Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye which is book two in her Modern Love series. I was in the minority with the right swipe which was the book one. I did not like that book at all. I did not like the main character. She was just like literally on one the entire time and like never really let up and I just did not like that. I didn't really like how she was portrayed. I could see what she was doing and the point that she was trying to make with her but I just did not like it. I was really skeptical. I was like, I don't really know if I want to read this book or not, but I have been hearing some pretty good reviews from this one. Like I follow some people on Goodreads that are tough reviewers that have rated this one pretty high. So I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna give it a chance. I hope that I love this one better than book one. Next I have The Trouble With Hating You by Sajni Patel and I'm so excited for this you guys. It's just, it feels so magical because it's that time of the year where really all of my most anticipated releases are coming out. This follows Laya and Jay and Laya is a successful bio chemical engineer, takeout enthusiast, and happily single woman. And she goes to dinner at her parents' house one night and unbeknownst to her, the gentleman that is there that they've invited is the man that they are hoping that she will marry. And so in the blink of an eye, she's basically out the back door, completely dodging it. She wants no parts of that business. And then like a couple of days later, she's at work and in walks Jay, the guy that she left at the dinner table at her parents' house. And he is the lawyer that her company just recently hired. I, apparently her business is struggling and he's the lawyer that they hired on to kind of help them out during this time and he's not really happy to see her either. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I have been waiting literally since fall of 2019 when I discovered this book for it to come out. So I'm so happy to have a copy and I cannot wait to read it. Because I'm the last person on the earth to read this book, I'm going to be reading The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. I just checked my library. They had the audiobook available, which is crazy. I remember at one point it would have been like seven months to wait for this audiobook to come through. So I I'm so excited. Everyone that I know that has read this book loved it, like rated it five out of five stars. Then I plan on reading The Boyfriend Project by Farrah Roshan, which comes out next month in June. Guys, I'm so excited because I saw that this is a book of the month pick. I always get very excited when I see romance as one of the picks for book of the month. And this follows a girl named Samaya. And if you've read Lauren Lane's Central Park Pack series, this gives me all the Central Park Packed vibes. And I just love it so much. It's exactly what I need because I miss that series so much. I know a lot of people's issue with that series and I have a feeling would be their issue with this one is just the way that the friendship amongst the heroine and her new friends happened. So in this one, just like with the Central Park Pack series, all the women find out that they've been pretty much seeing the same guy. And I get it like, oh my gosh, do we wanna be friends with a woman that the guy we were seeing was basically cheating on me with? Like it's such an unconventional way, but I just think it's so interesting to explore the unconventional ways that friendships amongst women can form. While I get it, like I understand that would be a reason why people would hate it, I just also think that's not really fair at the same time. Friendships can happen in any kind of way and I just really love female friendships. I'm really looking forward to this one but anyway so they find out they've been dating the same guy and they make this pact of like we're gonna put ourselves first, focus on our careers and as it usually happens as soon as you make up your mind like I'm gonna focus on me, I'm gonna do me, you meet someone that you're interested in and 
and Samaya meets Daniel and it sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the last one is the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. This book is all over the place and I've been seeing such wonderful things and I feel like I need to read it now which is crazy. Who have I become? Because your girl used to be that person that waited for all the hype around a book to kind of die down. I really want to read this book. I've been so excited for it. I've been patiently waiting for it. From the interviews that I've listened to with her on it, she sounds like such an amazing person. She's definitely a writer that I'm rooting for, so I cannot wait to read this one. So those are all of the books that I plan to read, you guys. Obviously, throughout the month, there will be some add-ons. Like, I'm making my way through the Giant Day series, and it's just getting so good. Like, it's already been a really good time, but I'm on, like, issue 27 now, I think, and it just keeps getting better and better. So we will see what else I end up reading throughout the month, but let me know what you plan to read in the month of May. I would really love to hear. If you write any of the things that I've talked about and you have opinions on them, let's chat about them down in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.